It's known as Pig's Eye Regional Park, 1,300 acres of land that straddles Battle Creek and abuts Pig's Eye Lake, southeast of downtown St. Paul. But it's never been developed as a park because of what lies beneath it, toxic waste. What's underneath here are many 55-gallon drums of toxic chemicals of all varieties, including PFAS. It's getting into the groundwater, the water table. It's also leaking out into the lake. Pig's Eye was an unlicensed landfill for decades, which is why it's an EPA Superfund site and is filled with MPCA monitoring wells. But neighbors like Tom Diamond envisioned this as an urban recreation area. And cleaning up, getting rid of the pollution has to help human and wildlife viability in this area. Pig's Eye is also home to a nesting area for the blue herons and a nest count has been dropping. The counts of the PCBs and other chemicals in the bird's eggs are some of the highest that have been found in the world. Diamond was among those who testified in the House Natural Resources Committee today, asking lawmakers to help. With a projected $7 billion surplus, there's gonna be a lot of people here this year asking for some of that money. But the folks who support the Pig's Eye Restoration Project believe this is a rare opportunity to combine federal, state, and local money to make it happen. In St. Paul, John Croman, CARE 11 News.